I don't know that I felt like the team that had the ball last was going to score because the defenses were playing so well. Yeah. But Ohio State controlling the clock in both the last few minutes of the second quarter and obviously the last few minutes of the fourth quarter yep. uh, put Notre Dame in a weird spot. Notre Dame, when they came up with the fourth down stop uh, and, and uh, Ohio State turned it over on downs, at that time there was 4-12 left in the game. At that point, I think a lot of Buckeye fans felt, oh, my God, we just lost. Yep. It's over, right? And I I just give I give this team so much credit for standing there and saying, look, it doesn't look good, but it's not over. And let's just see if we can get the offense the ball back and give them a chance. Yeah. It's, it's so true. And you, Notre Dame really at that point is two first downs away. You're 20 yards away from uh, – They got from, two first downs. Problems again too quickly. They got them too quickly, yes. It was – it goes back to kind of what I mentioned. I think there's some clock management stuff on Notre Dame side, which cost them the game. But on the flip side, there's some clock management stuff that Ryan Day executed to perfection to give you an opportunity with five seconds to go, and you got two plays at the, at the, at the one-yard line to win the football game. Audrey Gestime had a 22-yard run in the first half. Uh, at halftime, he had five carries for 25 yards, which means basically it all came on one run. He finished the game 14 carries for 70 yards. Uh, he looked tough, but I thought Ohio State did a really good job of not letting him blow this thing open to the point where they weren't going to be able to do it. No question about it. I mean, I think that we we mentioned this a lot. Like this offense was go, goes through him. We found that I think the offense just goes through the run game. Um, I think he got in the doghouse in the second half. Don't know what was going on because he looked healthy, uh, but they were giving a lot of guys some carries. But Ohio State. Just bottled it all up, bottled it up. No big plays, and when you just eliminate big plays, that makes your team have to execute now twelve play drives, and then stuff happens. Then you accidentally go, you don't accidentally, but then you tempo into a fourth down, and you don't get it, and then like stuff like that happens, though. But honestly, man, like when you when you talk about it's all connected, right? When Notre Dame's starting inside their nineteen yard line every time, and you just don't give up any big plays, you have to go eighty yards every single drive. They, they did it twice tonight, you know, holding the fourteen points. They're so it's all connected. I think when you talk complimentary football, you put on the tape of this game and you watch Ohio State. Like, hey, it didn't feel like at times the offense had it going, and maybe at times it felt like the defense maybe had been giving some stuff up. But when they played together, and that's what it looked like. You were playing really good complimentary football together. It came out as a win. 